mind is like a parachute. It's only good when it's open. You have to be open, constantly learning. I was born on the southwest side of Chicago in a very Irish Catholic neighborhood. My father had a heart attack when I was around seven or eight years old. When he had a subsequent heart attack, then my mother had to go to work in the mid-50s. She supported the family. When I was in fourth or fifth grade, I got a newspaper route and delivered a paper called The Southtown Economist. So then one day, I'm probably now in fifth grade, and I'm bored, and I'm looking through the paper, and I said, oh my gosh, the New York Stock Exchange. And I saw all these little fractional changes and sometimes point changes. And I said, Dad, what's this? Oh, he says, I don't know. It's the New York Stock Exchange, and I don't know anything about it. And I says, well, before you invest, you have to investigate. So then I said, well, I'll have to research it. So I go down to the Chicago Public Library and start reading, not books, but magazines, currency, what's going on right now. I became very interested in the market and what was making the moves. I always was working in it. The idea of working would give me what I either wanted to do or certainly what I didn't want to do. I worked at a Gagan's wholesale grocer firm on the docks working uh, institutional food delivery. At school, I also had a job as a proofreader for a printing company. So I learned about business by having those jobs. I was interested in learning about anything practical and how to improve things. When I went to a local community college, Southeast, and I went to DePaul, I find it really a wonderful atmosphere. It, it was just made uh, finance so, so interesting. I graduated with a degree in finance. And I walked over to the Wall Street Journal office and put in a classified ad. It was for $52 and like 50, 50 cents. Indirectly through that ad, I got the job. I left the firm in 68, and then I got a job at A.G. Becker. That's where I got the introduction to really manage money in the early 70s, and then I went more on my own in developing our own asset management company, marketing and selling. It's about you had to continue to learn, you had to be responsible for your own actions, and to give back. In the end, those are what made me successful. Horatio Alger